What's up? So this mm-hmm. this uh, monster ne, from the United States is not the first such monster. I remember yesterday comparing uh, between him and this one guy that I used to work with at M10 that I thought was my husband. Um, that ended up also literally in investing in lots of psychotic witchcraft against me so I would die. Because he went and married another woman, passed me up and regretted it later and decided that I needed to die. And he kept on sending me death curse after death curse, also belonging to a secret society. This dude from, from the US actually is quite petty. He doesn't belong to a, a body of wicked men. This dude actually belongs to some kind of a society. And that's dark, right? Um, the one from MTN. Utwele. Yeah, type setup thing. Okay, righto. But I, yeah, like I fell in love with a guy that ended up a twelve. <laughs> I don't know if he's if he's got a mum lambo or what, but he's got some kind of thing that he it, it has done that has is is pushing him along in life. Anyway, whatever. This um guy was was evil. He was evil, and I was in love with him because I thought he was a child of God. That's the thing. They have to infiltrate the church. They have to be a miss God's people. That's what made me think he was a child of God. Evil, just evil. But he was super handsome, very very charismatic. Ebatung like Casanova. Okay. Ultimately, I I guess found out that that's what he was about his wickedness he pursued he followed me all the way into my persecution so he was he started afflicting me when i was still working in the same building with him and then after i lost my job he continued to follow me around through my ministry i was very much in love with him i thought he was my blah blah you get my point when he married another woman a few months down the line he regretted it blah 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 realized that he made a mistake with me and decided that i should die after getting to that realization yes guys you know, these guys that have got, that, that drain secret societies, that belong to masonry or whatever, however many of them there might be. It's one here in South Africa, it might even be a no-name society, but it none, nonetheless is a coven of some sort. They have shrines in their, shrines, sorry, in their own houses. They don't need to consult Isangoma. They don't need to go to a spiritist. They just do a spell right there on, on the scene, right? Most of the people that practice sorcery, that have hit me with it, have been consultants. They've gone to an Anyanga or whatever to help them. There's only a handful. One is my cousin, uh, this dude, the, the, the American guy, and the, this now guy, right? Literally three, three, I can even count them on my one hand, that do it personally in their own capacity. In their own houses, they've got a dark room where they go and they do strange stuff. Everybody else that has done this to me has needed some other help, and that's why they have not been so frequently ab- uh, afflicting of me, because it takes time out of them to get in their cars, drive there, and also money, so they don't easily just go consult Amasangoma, but the ones who have personal private shrines, yes, like it, they will dedicate 24 hours to you. They will stay up at night just to look at you through some glass. Hey, guys, this dude was like that. He had a shrine in his apartment. I was alone, stock seal alien, living in isolation from family, no electricity in my house, no food. I'm struggling, I'm suffering, I'm making war with all different kinds of things, and this guy, almost every second day, wah, witchcraft, dark arts, die, suicide, hey, he fa, he tried to kill me. I was in that abuse by myself for a year before I lost my apartment because I couldn't afford to pay for it anymore and move home. And it was only upon moving home and my mother agreeing to take me in and forcing me to stop uploading content on social media that I finally got relief from this guy because I disappeared. This dude, I remember asking the Lord, the American, the most recent one. I was like, Father, this guy, they say that other guy's name was Remba. I was like, Father, this dude is exactly like Remba. He's got a shrine in his house. He's practicing in his own personal capacity. So there is no end to how much witchcraft he can do on me. If at all he's paying somebody else to do it, it's because he's extremely desperate. And indeed, he went and consulted a person in Jamaica. But he's got a thing going on in his own house. He is exactly like Rempa, but it doesn't feel as bad as in the time when, when Rempa was doing what he was doing. Because now I've got people around me. But you see, Rempa, Rempa, when I moved back home after losing my apartment, there was a season, a short while, where I was um, with my family. And my family was treating me a little bit better. And I uploaded content on YouTube to, like a video of I think I was dancing with a cousin of mine and my younger sister and Rempa would see stuff like this and would get agitated. Rempa deliberately went back to the drawing board upon realizing that I've got protection from my family members and he took out a death curse on my mom so I will have nobody to bounce back to so I will not have family like he basically wanted me to be homeless a hobo he wanted me to commit suicide I wasn't doing it but he wanted to make my life condition so bad that I would indeed eventually end up doing it and Rempa in so realizing that I've got somebody that I can continually continuously bounce back to and they just keep on allowing me to come back even though initially they acted like they, they acted like they wouldn't allow me to come back my mom Rempa literally took out a death curse on my mother I was told this by God in the spirit and I was so angry but at the time remember I was in a fasted state perpetually I never stopped fasting and I never stopped praying so I didn't have to enter into a fast 
to protect my mother's life. Rempa's witchcraft landed on my mom like butter on a knife and it just slid off on a hot knife and it just slipped off because i was actively fasting non-stop he just act like around me around my family and because i was praying in tongues uh i was covering my mom without even necessarily knowing it do you understand so rambo was just like shooting arrows over the iron dome there at, at in israel weapons what's this missile defense system that just goes and like you know whatever shrivels up into dust hollow knot and ash any weapon coming from an enemy i had an iron dome around me and not around me around my family such that while weapons cannot like okay so christians are like ones that have an iron dome over just their bodies but if they're super fervently prayerful they had they then that iron dome there's like a secondary one that also covers anybody in their general vicinity and i had that like double iron dome where both my family members and me were covered i was covered by me virtue of being a christ disciple they were covered by me virtue of being in my circle of influence and also because the lord had my back uh he knew that my mom couldn't die because then i would have no one to protect me not protect me your mom is not protecting me but she is a source of resources food shelter home she is like the widow at zarapath but the evil version going to her makes sure that my oil never runs out neither does the flower in my vase in my vase in my jar do you understand what i'm saying yeah so at that stage i was in that fervency of prayer and non-stop and so this dude that tried to kill me when i was in my apartment kill me he had just been really super frustrated but the thing about these guys that have shrines in their own houses they don't run out of money to do these rituals because they do them in their own pers personal capacity they just go to the store and buy an onion they go to the store and buy you know ginger root we busy out just making ginger beer you know drinking stone he's using it for some satanic herbalist stuff just in his grocery list of items are occult paraphernalia and occult herbs that he uses it's not expensive so he just keeps going back to the drawing board because he is his own practicing like a physician He's his own practicing wicked physician in Yanga in his own capacity. Or is Sango my e witch? You get my point. Uh, yeah, no, this dude Wang Zama Wang Zama failed with me and was like, I need to find a way to fix this. And he tried to kill my mom. And it was at that stage when he tried to kill my mom because these entities that come at my mother and my family work on my on these people, but not on me. My mother got super aggressive. She got super oh guys yo abuse. And in that abuse, decided that hey, you better stop uploading on YouTube. Or you will have no home. That was her manifestation of that witchcraft. And lo and behold, by stopping to upload, I basically protected my family. I disappeared off the scene. This guy couldn't see me anymore. And I disappeared for years. Uh, for uh, the initial months when I was gone off my social media, he, not months, weeks, he was still kind of busy with me. But then when it became like a whole year, two years, he was like, I suga, she's dead. I don't know. God showed me a dream once upon a time with him looking into some kind of a, a thing, like some pot or whatever to see if I'm still alive. Because he thought I finally capitulated to suicide because I suddenly, I abruptly stopped on my ministry. Next part.